G'day, I'm Matt Rodell. Today I intend to spend a few hours in the life of society's unseen community of people. Until recently, I had no idea that when you lose your licence or simply turn 80, that it is still possible to hoon around and rule the streets of your local community or take the scenic route and go around the lake. I got in contact with Ray Roberts, one of the leaders of this group. He agreed for me to accompany them whilst they go around the lake. So off I go. This is going to be great. So can you tell me a bit about the scooters and their capabilities? It goes forward and it goes backwards and it goes left and right. Our top speed's about 15 k's. Ray and I did try them out one day. What's that? At the speed, but you got wheel wobbled, Ray. We had to stop. Um, is there any changes that you could think the, to add to your scooters? I'm quite, happy, I'm quite happy with mine. It does everything I want. Need a little cup holder or something. Oh, we've got our thermoses in the back. And, yeah, we carry our thermoses with us. Yeah. Here we go. Have you ever been stranded with a flat battery before? Yes. My other scooter, if you've got bigger batteries, it lasts longer. And the other scooter I had didn't have such big batteries. And so I got off it and I thought, what do I do? Oh. Okay, you pull to go down here and you get the, the thing, you pull it across so it releases the wheels so you can, you know, walk with it. So I walked a little way back with it, and then I thought to myself, now, hang on a minute, I had them, when I had a radio, and the batteries went, and I knew they'd gone, but when I left it a while and turned it on again, they went for a while, so I got it in here, got the wheels up, went along a bit. On my scooter, rode it along, and when I knew it wasn't going to go any further, I did the same again, I went and loosened, you know, took it off and walked with it, and the batteries recharged themselves as I was walking somehow, so I got home. <laughs> That's how I made it home. I had a three-wheel one, I fell over on it. <laughs> are these scooters, um, are they capable of picking up the ladies? Oh, yeah, I think so. They, they, those two oh, they picked me smile, up. They yeah, picked me around. up, they did. Oh, they and I was driving. Idea. Don't say that, because I had not known mostly run. to ourselves. Right. You picked me up, didn't you? That's right, yeah. yeah. Bailed you up. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're enjoying that, aren't you? Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> Damn good invention that was. You guys don't realise how lucky you are. Yes, I think we do. You were in slow motion coming down there, right? Yeah, I was uh, waiting for hands to come up and he disappeared. Well, he didn't come. Bob didn't come either? No, he had to go somewhere. That girl makes me feel cold over there, right? Eh? She does, too. That girl makes me feel cold. Doesn't make you feel old, though, George. <laughs> <laughs> These two larrikins were coming along behind me one day and I stopped up the top and I said, you know, if I was young and courting, this is where I'd come. <laughs> they roared laughing and they said, don't you think you've left it a bit late? <laughs> now look, that's rude, isn't what it? Does, um, what does having a scooter mean to all of you? Well, for me, I don't, do not drive, I haven't got a licence and it gives me an independent. Have you um, encountered any dangerous situations while on your scooter? Only Dot. <laughs> you have to go through these turnstiles down there. Yes, you and I bashed my scooter up one. right under there and I lost yeah, pieces out of it. Do you have them at full speed when you go? Dot does. <laughs> Don't ask me I that. feel like a teenager. 
seen stuff like this, I can go here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Please myself what I do. And I feel, what, young again. That's it. Young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now this one goes 10 kilometres an hour. The other one I had was a three-wheeler, and it only did 8 kilometres an hour. Now this one has got bigger batteries in it. And if you're going anywhere and you think you're going to stay away two or three days, you can just take the, the little charger, put it in the back there, and then plug it in. Yeah. And you get there. It's easy. So have any of you yeah. ever rolled your scooters? Yeah, I, got, I went backwards somewhere. I was right downtown near the, all the big lights and everything. And I was, was trying to reverse, and the whole thing fell over, me and all. <laughs> and, and, you know, it was so funny because there I was laying down and couldn't get up hardly, and there was a, 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 the lights... There was a lorry driver, and he was right up high, you know, he's, like, he's looking at me, and I bet he thought, oh, I wish I could go out there and save her. <laughs> and I was trying to get up. <laughs> yeah, I rolled it all right. Ready, set, go. So what exactly do you provide here? Um, basically we provide a service to aged or disabled people in the community. Um, we've got a range of products starting from your basic daily living stuff um, right up to your motorised wheelchairs, scooters, um, lifting equipment, anything that's going to make life easier for someone who's elderly caring for a disabled person. In sale here we've been in this premises now for about three years. What do you think having a scooter means to people? It's an excellent tool for uh, independence. You often find nowadays elderly people might lose their license because perhaps their eyesight's starting to fail a bit. What the scooter does for them is it gives them back that independence. All right, thanks for that. No problem. Mobility scooters have not only changed the lives of Ray and his friends, but for disabled people from all over the globe. Without these wonderful machines, the chances of seeing society as it is today for these people would be very slim.